Hi, in this video we're gonna see the crystal oscillator or, or the quartz. Okay, so as you can see here in this motherboard, this is an example of the quartz. This reference is X4 in the motherboard. Always you will find two references, X or Y. As you can see here for this quartz, we have Y6. This is a 32.768 kilohertz crystal oscillator okay near to the ICH so in the laptop motherboard we're gonna find many kind of crystals okay so the crystals stabilize the frequency as you can see we have another crystal okay here as you can see we have another crystal near to the clock generator this is the clock generator I see we have here 14.318 kilohertz okay x2 so near to the clock generator so the clock generator is the responsible for the frequency for the whole motherboard here also we have another crystal near to the super io okay so this is crystal as you can see okay here near to the ich or salt bridge we have another crystal okay so basically there is many crystals in the motherboard so this is the symbol or the schematic for the crystal as you can see it contains two pins this is x to 14.380 megahertz okay so always it is connected to two capacitors as you can see this is the clock generator ic as you can see well always this clock generator is near to the cpu okay so as you can see here its reference is u and the crystal X2 and we have two capacitors as you can see C268 and C267 we're gonna see these references in the motherboard okay so let's see the motherboard as you can see this is the clock generator I see okay its reference is U231 here we have the crystal X2 the same as we have seen in the schematic okay and over here we have two capacitors as you can see C267 and C268 okay so the crystals is responsible for generating the frequency for the motherboard